Hello, Bernie families and students. I have a special book for you today that is called Alma and How She Got Her Name. So this is written by Juana Martinez Neal and also illustrated by her. So that's fantastic. And this book really is gonna to talk to us about our names and the history behind um, little Alma's name. So you might have a history behind your name as well. And this is, to, uh, yesterday actually, September 15th, um, kicked off Hispanic Heritage Month. And even though um, it is Hispanic Heritage Month, we want to celebrate all of our heritages, right? Every day of the year, not just for one month out of the year. And, um, but because it is Hispanic Heritage Month, I do want to focus on bringing to you uh, some Latino authors and some books that characterize, that have Latino and Latina characters. So this is one book that I have to share with you and it actually won the Caldecott uh, Honor uh, Medal. So here we go. Alma and How She Got Her Name by Juana Martinez Neal. Alma Sofia Esperanza Jose Pura Candela had a long name. Too long, if you asked her. My name is so long, Daddy. It never fits, Alma said. Come here, he said. Let me tell you a story of your name. Then you decide if it fits. Sophia was your grandmother, he began. She loved books, poetry, jasmine, flowers, and of course me. She was the one who taught me how to read. I love books and flowers, and you too, Daddy. I am Sophia. Esperanza was your great-grandmother, he continued. She hoped to travel, but never left the city where she was born. Her only son grew up to cross the seven seas. Wherever her sailor son went, so did Esperanza's heart. The world is so big. I want to go see it, Daddy. You and me together. I am Esperanza. Jose was my father, Alma's daddy said. He was an artist with a Big family, like many people had back then. Early each morning, he walked to the mountains and the plazas to paint everyday life. Sometimes I went along. Your grandfather taught me to see and love our people. I wake up early every day and I draw a lot too. This morning, I drew a kitty cat for you, Daddy. I am Jose. Buddha was your great aunt. She believed that the spirits of our ancestors are always with us, watching over us. When you were born, she tied a red string around your wrist, a charm to keep you safe. Hello, Pura. It's me, Alma. Candela was your other grandmother. She always stood up for what was right. Escucha, piensa, Denuncia. I am Candela. I love the story of my name. Now, tell me about Alma, Daddy. Where does that come from? I picked, I picked the name Alma just for you. You are the first and the only Alma. You will make your own story. Alma, Sofia, Esperanza, Jose, Pura Candela. That's my name, and it fits me just right. I am Alma, and I have a story to tell. Mi historia, Alma. And here is a note from the author and illustrator. A note from Juana. My name is Juana Carlota Martinez Pizarro. My father named me Juana after his mother, Juana Francisca. My mother chose the name, the name Carla to honor the memory of her uncle, Carlos. My father was a man of decisions, so when it was time to register my birth, he changed Carla to Carlota on the birth certificate. He was convinced that Juana Carlota was the mighty name he wanted for his daughter. Thanks to that change, I got stuck with what I thought was the most old-fashioned, harsh, 
ugly and way too Spanish name in all of Lima, Peru, where I grew up. Little did I know that later on, after I moved to the United States, it would feel unique and remind me every day of where I come from. What is the story of your name? What story would you like to tell? And she dedicates this book to Victor Nicolas Martinez Gomez, my dad. I hope you enjoyed the, the book Alma and how she got her name. So I would encourage you to ask your parents, why did your parents name you what they named you? I bet there's a great story behind your name. Enjoy, I hope you enjoy this book and I will have a few more titles to share with you throughout the weeks, these upcoming weeks, focusing on Latino and Latina art authors and Latino and Latino characters. Thanks for stopping by with Storytime with Mrs. Gomez. <laughs>